Welcome to Ashland's Apron and welcome to Colorado. Today I'm going to be making a green chili enchilada soup. So to start, I'm making mine in my Instant Pot. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm actually going to turn it on the saute mode. So if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this recipe. I'm putting a little bit of olive oil on there. You can still make this recipe and you can make it in a normal pot. So I'm just um, using my Instant Pot. to um, cook it all day. I'm gonna actually, obviously for an Instant Pot, you can uh, do it right before you need to eat and then uh, enjoy it. But I'm actually going to use the slow cook mode. So you can also use a crock pot for this. Um, what I'm going, so what I've already done, I've put some olive oil in there. I'm going to saute my onions. So you may notice that I have a paper towel. This is my little trick of the trade. I know there's like, you know, put a match in your mouth or wear like goggles or something to keep you from crying. Uh, my trick that my husband taught me when we got married was get a wet paper towel. Don't wring it out. Have it be really wet cut your onion on top of that. And that's where those uh, kind of onion juices will kind of flock to that wet paper towel instead of searching for another area of wetness, which is your eyes. Um, so it's worked pretty well for me. You just have to be careful that you don't get the um, paper towel in there. But after that, you're done. So I'm just going to make sure that that is warming up. You can start to hear them sizzle. Alright, so I'm going to let that do its thing for a second. Um, one of the things as I was looking up different recipes for Colorado, I kept seeing these green chili enchiladas. And you know me that one of my favorite things is soup. So anytime I can make a kind of classic meal into soup, and don't get me wrong, enchiladas by themselves are amazing. But I just decided, especially with some chilly weather, that a soup would be perfect. All right, these are starting to do what I want them to do. They're starting, some of them are getting a little translucent. Once I have all of them getting translucent, then I'm going to add in some garlic. I don't want to add in the garlic initially because I don't want the garlic to burn. Ooh, it smells like fragrant onions in here. Means that something good is cooking. And you can see all this steam that's coming up from the Instant Pot. All right, that's how I want it to be. And now I'm going to add three cloves of garlic. Until fragrant until you can start to smell the garlic which normally doesn't take very long and if you're like ah, oh, when is it fragrant enough it's normally about 30 seconds to a minute all right this is seriously cooking fast 
I love it. This is what I like about the Instant Pot. So I'm also going to add a teaspoon of cumin. And then I'm going to add some chicken broth. Just a little bit. Mm. There we go. So now in this, I'm going to take it off of the saute mode. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep it for now because I like this high heat. No, I take it back. I'm going to turn it off of saute mode and I'm already going to start the slow cook mode. I'm going to put it on um, low for 10 hours. So all of that onion, garlic, cumin, and a little bit of chicken broth is in there. And now is the easy part. You're just going to dump everything. And this is what I love about soups is that, I mean, some soups can be complicated, but when it's the easy soups, like pour this, pour this, pour this, you're done. Always a go-to. So the first thing that I'm going to add is this enchilada sauce. So this specifically is green chili enchilada sauce. Um, there's like original or a, like a normal enchilada sauce, but I have green because this is going to be green chili. And I'm gonna add about, well, I'm going to add three cans, which is about 30 ounces of this chili sauce or enchilada sauce. All right, now with this, I'm going to add a can, small little can of diced green chilies. And I am leaving all of the juice in there as well. So add that. Going to add a can of Rotel. It has the green chilies in there as well. going to add some salsa verde and it's about a cup which for this can is the whole thing and then finally I'm going to add some hot sauce so I've shown before on these videos that Cholula is a go-to hot sauce it has good flavor I'm gonna do a little bit of that and you can always use the hot sauce as like a decorative topping later. Um, so you don't have to add a whole lot in the beginning. Um, just so that everyone is accommodated. So now I've stirred it up. It has a little bit of red from the Rotel. Um, but primarily that green color, which is what we're going for. And now I'm going to get my pork tenderloin. Uh, so I cooked this overnight, um, actually in the Instant Pot using the slow cooker function and just roasted it on the skillet, just seasoned with salt and pepper and um, put a little bit of water in there just so that it could cook and it fell apart so easily. So this is about three pounds. I'm just gonna add it straight in there. This is so easy. I love it when recipes can just be put together. And I will say, I guess cooking the meat um, separately took extra time in like if you look at the whole big picture but as far as like hands-on time none at all so with all the meat it does make it pretty um thick so if you do want to loosen it up a little bit you can add some i didn't use the whole can of chicken broth you could add the rest of that um or you can have it be like a stew. 
So I'm going to attempt to do something and you definitely will be able to see it. Um, my Instant Pot's probably going to yell at me, but I don't know if you can see all of that goodness. It's literally done. It smells so good. It smells kind of spicy, but mostly just smells very flavorful. So I'm going to cook this for the 10 hours and I'm going to enjoy it. You could even top it with some tortilla chips, but I may just enjoy it just like it is. This is a super simple week. Great for when you have busy weeks running from event to event or studying or just working and want to have something easy. So go try this. My recipe will be on my website. I hope you enjoy.